For the holidays, we decided to debut a new recurring cooking segment filmed right here in the WTWO studio. That's right. Last week, we filmed two recipes. We'll start off with one of my favorite side dishes for Thanksgiving. Nicole and I have been wanting to use the kitchen set for so long. What better way to debut it for Thanksgiving? I know. One of the best days of the year to eat. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so let's we have some, some meals. really good recipes for you guys. We're going to do the creamed corn first. That's my uh, recipe. It's just a side dish we make for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And then, what are you going to make? Yeah, we're going to make a sweet potato casserole with a secret ingredient I'm sure many families actually don't include in their sweet potato casserole. But I'm thinking you're going to want to try it. Oh, so. yeah, but I'm excited about this creamed corn Me Savannah. Too. Let's get started on that. All right. So, the ingredients you'll need you need two packages of the eight ounce or 16 ounce each frozen corn you can use canned or frozen I like to use frozen and then also we got some onion just a medium-sized onion mm -hmm. um, I already chopped it up but you'll just need to chop it up in these kind of pieces we did wash our hands already just something like that and then put it in a food processor just so we can finally chop it up yeah it works better that way if you don't want if you want bigger pieces of onion they can just chop it up and throw it in there and then we need one eight ounce cream cheese block and you need to cut it up in these little cubes just so it kind of melts better and you are going to want a crock pot garlic powder or salt we can use okay. either one I just picked up garlic powder yeah. And then salt and pepper just for taste. Those are all for taste. It's not really like a teaspoon. Okay, yeah. Kind of just throw it kinda in. Kind of eyeball it. Yeah. So I usually start with the corn. Just pour that in. Scrape it out. All right. There we go. And then do you want to put the cream cheese in or then? Yeah. Do I need to do it I just use all at once? Yeah. Kind of clump them all in there? Yeah. All right. Dump them all in. All right. And then I usually just take a spoon for the onion to get this out. And you can just put that in too. And if anyone wants it extra creamier, they can put more cream cheese in okay. it if you want extra onion. The recipe calls for one medium onion, but I kind of just did a half of a large one. So kind of just eyeball and then do you want to put some pepper yeah. in? Yeah. And then I'll do the garlic powder. What do you tend to think? taste the best in these the the pepper um, the salt I think a little bit add. of both yeah you can really smell the garlic powder when it's cooking yeah the pepper kind of doesn't come out that well and then I just do a little bit of salt just for taste okay all right so two to three hours in the crock pot and yep. this is the finished product it looks awesome it smells really good too. yes it does you can definitely get some of that garlic in there yes. and Savannah we were talking about this earlier this is something that you grew up with this was yes. one of the sides you really love growing up yep. right this besides mashed potatoes I think are my two favorite things and stuffing of course but this is my mom's it's not homemade it's out of a co uh, cookbook or whatever yeah. but she just always makes this and it's always been my favorite kind of easy thing to just throw in the crock pot and oh yeah it's good two three hours you're making everything else working yep. on the turkey and you got this ready at exactly. the end I Super love it easy.